So this is just a quick news talk. Uh, I do have some friends that watch these videos. Uh, wanted to give them a status update on my mom. Uh, she's superhuman. I don't even know what's going on. Uh, I got here, she was comatose. Now she's doing great. Uh, we, I got her out of the bed and uh, well it was it was an amazing thing, amazing thing to watch. Wanted to go through the headlines here real quick. You know, the Canadian truckers, they're continuing to fight that uh, freaking dictator, Justin Trudeau. We'll see where that goes. We got to pray for them and do the best we can for them. There's a lot of other stuff going on in the news. Uh, well, they give a, they've given a defiant message to Tr Trudeau. That's a good thing. Of course, we still we, we know about the Russian hoax. Boy, wasn't it great how the media played that out for three years, and now we know that uh, Hillary Clinton was actually the instigator of all of that. Uh, so, you know, who knows where that's going to go. Maybe Durham's going to prosecute some people. We'll see what happens. You know, everybody realizes now that Florida was right. We never, well, I haven't, you know, let's just take me for example i haven't worn a mask in two years it was only when i came to virginia to help my mother i don't know six months ago and i, I didn't have a mask in the car <laughs> and so when i got here i couldn't get in any buildings because everybody required a mask because this was a democrat state now that yunkin's in charge uh luckily we turned this state republican Oh, by the way, uh, San Francisco, three uh, three Republicans got elected there. I think that's a good thing. So that maybe will, in a deep, 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 you know, Democrat district, you know, I maybe the Democrats are waking up. But, you know, if they're not, these totalitarian, idiot, Democrat, uh, socialist, Marxist, communists, move the hell out of the Republican states. You know, I, I used to say move the hell out of Florida. Because that's all that I really cared about. But now that I'm in Republican Virginia, you know, just move your ass out of any Republican state. Go to New York. Go to Illinois. Go to California. Go where you're welcome. And by the way, put three masks on your kids. Okay? Make sure that they're masked up when they go to school. Because, you know, who knows? They might infect a teacher or breathe on each other. You know, the most, you know, they're, they're the least susceptible to the vax mandate. Let's talk about the vax mandates for just a second. Uh, it looks like they're kind of dead here in the United States. Uh, the, the, the Canadians are fighting against them. Uh, what was it, six, six provinces that have taken the vax mandates off? So that's a good thing. Boy, I tell you, it's a lot of news today. Uh, boy, Biden should be account held accountable on a day-to-day -day basis boy good luck with that nobody in the federal government of course we already know that the fbi and the cia and all the other uh, agencies were conspiring against trump to take down his presidency so uh boy i tell you i'm gonna have to edit this video too many us in there huh god almighty I, but you know when I'm, when you're kind of looking for for things to talk about and something to spark your oh well, let's talk about Russia for just a second that was a that's been an amazing thing you know I think Vladimir Putin he's one smart son of a gun I got to give him credit where credit's due now is he a dictator yeah in certain ways but he's a smart guy and I think he really cares about his people in a certain kind of sick way he certainly uh, have, has killed people. Uh, in his country that, that came up against him, but I, I assume he felt that he needed to do that to keep control of his country. But at the same time, he bluffed the Western nations with this whole Ukraine invasion, and I think they just caved into him because what he said was that was a military exercise, and now he's pulling his forces out. You tell me, why would he be pulling his forces out unless the Western neocons, the, the totalitarian dictators that were trying to take over the Western world, capitulated to him in some way. All he really wanted, basically, was just to make sure Ukraine didn't become a NATO uh, ally uh, to the Western world. Now, of course, Biden, you know, he, he gets a lot of kickbacks from from Ukraine, and his, his son Hunter's been in there with the, the oligarchs. I mean, Ukraine is a corrupt country by by and large, in fact, uh, Russia is, in my opinion, a lot better than Ukraine. But at the same time, you know, 
I don't know. I mean, I, it's just a, it's just a crazy situation over there. And of course, we were getting the wag the dog. All of the uh, Western Western nations were trying to focus all the attention on Ukraine and ignore the fact that people are rising up around the world with the Canadian truckers. We got to support the Canadian truckers. Uh, they you know, right now they're getting persecuted. I saw today that uh, they're going in there and uh, trying to give them hundred thousand dollar tickets, take away their licenses. Now, who's going to drive the trucks? Who's going to drive? Well, I guess they could bring in the military, and some of them guys can drive the trucks. But I'm going to tell you right now, I I tried driving a truck. It's damn hard, and uh, I'm not very good at it. And I imagine people are going to get killed if, if they start putting unqualified people in the in the, the seats of the. It takes us. It's kind of like being a nurse. All right. How many of you, how many of you want to be a nurse? I could never do it. You're going to clean up the pee and the poop. And, you know, I've, I've been in the hospital a lot of my life. I'll tell you that uh, as a result of cancer twice and everything else. I mean, I, in fact, the nurses come in and they take great glee. Oh, you peed in your bed. You peed in your bed. Isn't that wonderful? And, they're, and you know, I'm, th I'm over there just getting, of course, I'm in the bed right next to them. And I'm thinking, oh, my God. They, I knew the guy hadn't gone to the bathroom for, you know, 20 hours or something, you know. But, I, you know, I didn't know he was peeing all over his bed. So they got to come in and clean all that shit up. So is this a job you want? Call, talk about dirty jobs. Being a trucker, that's a dirty damn job. I'm going to tell you what. And I've only driven, I have driven a tractor trailer. And, you know, you you come up to a stoplight, okay? You hit that brake because it, it doesn't give you enough time. You know, you see that it goes to yellow, you know, it goes from green to yellow for a brief couple of seconds, and then it goes red. If you got a heavy load, or let's say you're a fuel truck or whatever, and this is why people that get into major accidents, you're going to go, I mean, you can't stop the truck. I don't care how hard you hit the, well, you're going to lock the brakes up. You can't do it. You're going to go right through that stoplight. And I would be a nervous, I was, I actually, I was, I was a nervous wreck when I got to the other side of my load, you know. So if I'm driving a load from across the state, and, and luckily I never had to travel, you know, like across country or anything, I just going across the state. Or, well, in, in one instance, I had to go multiple states, but my blood pressure, when I took it, it was it was so high. Actually, my face was beat red just after driving a rig across states. Imagine doing that day in and day out. And Canada's gonna they're gonna take down all the truckers. Good luck with that. I don't know how many of their military troops are gonna be able to drive those trucks, but we'll see. We'll see. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But I hope that Justin Trudeau dictator son of a bitch gets taken down. We'll see what happens there. And, uh, well, I guess I'm, let's go through the headlines a little more and see if I come up with anything. Yeah, the truckers react to Trudeau's Invoke an Emergency Act. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. Trying to get some other headlines. Anyway, uh, I guess I'll just kind of talk about life here in Virginia. I did get out today, I got a workout, I know nobody cares about that, but I did want to kind of describe, you know, what you could do in your life. All right, I'm, I'm here, I, there's nothing for me to do. And if I go to the gym, they want $15 for me to walk in the door and get a workout per day, per day. Now screw that, man. I was just at the park today at my dad's park. Uh, I won't give you his name because I don't. I don't want people, I mean, obviously people can track me down anytime they want. I'm a very public figure at this point. But at the same time, I don't want to make myself any more public than I have to. But he put in an obstacle course. Well, I say obstacle or a workout course, I guess you would call it. And so there's push-up bars and there's pull-up bars and there's a set-up table and uh, there's stretching tables. And it's really actually excellent. And so what's the point of going to the gym when you can go there and get a workout? That's what I'm saying. Uh, and, of course, you know, I walked, a, I don't know how many miles I walked a day. So it was a good thing. I, I'm glad that I, you know, but that's, that's the balance of life. you got to keep your health in order. So I guess I'll stop right there, and I want to do the mantra. It's good to live in a republic. I'm going to re rephrase this now. I'm, it's good to live in a Republican state where we have no vaccine mandates. 
We have no jab requirements. We have no lockdowns. Okay? And we are free to come and do as we please. And if you're a Democrat, and you want your vaccine mandates, you want to put three masks on your kids, because they're going to be dumber than hell, because, you know, once those masks go on, they, they have a hard time learning. Or keep them at home, better yet. Obey the teachers' unions and keep your kids at home and do that virtual learning. I'm sure that's working out real well for you in the Democrat states. But don't bring that crap to the Republican states where we are free to come and do as we please. Peace out. Stay free. forgot to add one last thing. You know, one of the biggest problems that we've had is we've been voting in basically the same political class, whether it was Democrat or Republican. And uh, there's a new website now, reportarino.com. And I'm hoping that, I imagine there's no Democrats that watch my videos because I keep telling them to move to California or New York. But uh, just in case you're a Democrat, we're trying to get the rhinos out because those are Republicans in name only, which just means they're Democrats. And we're trying to put some patriots up there to change things around. So if you're all for free speech, or, you know, because a lot of liberal Democrats, I got nothing against them. We would have some controversial uh, arguments. I'm a conservative. I don't consider myself a Republican, not at all. Uh, hell, I used to be a Democrat uh, for many years until the went woke leftist, progressive, communist, Marxist. But anyway, so as a Repu I, the only party that I know to go with at this point is the Republican Party, and so we're, we're working on getting the rhinos out. Report a rhino .com. You know, Lindsey Graham, Liz Cheney, Mitt Romney. I mean, so that's three that I can tell you we're, we're going to get rid of them. We're going to get rid of them in the next election. So uh, those three are gone, and we're, we're working on the rest of them. But uh, if you want to find out, there's a March 6th event. We're, we're going to hold a, a conference with Steve Turley, and we're going to get rid of the rhinos. So if you, if you think that you're a, a liberal Democrat and you can't support the Democrats no more, maybe you just want to vote Republican, because it's now the Republican Patriot Party, and I think it's going to represent you a lot better as a liberal Democrat than the Democrat Party. Of course, Georgia... Georgia, the turtle, the turtle has to go, man. Mitch McConnell, that rhino needs to go. All right, we need to primary him out. I'm crying out to you. I'm crying out to you. The turtle has to go.